Hello everyone, in this video we will be integrating Radius server into our lab environment and set it up on FortiGate. Radius is playing crucial role in network security, ensuring that users are eligible to access network. So before we start, let's quickly take a look on some of the Radius highlights. Radius stands for Remote Authentication DL-In User Service, developed as a standard in 1990s. Radius server is a central to managing user access and tracking network activity through AAA, Authentication, Authorization and Accounting Protocol. Radius is often the backend of choice for 802.1x authentication, which is for example very useful to boost Wi-Fi security in enterprise networks. Radius is transported over UDP on ports 1812 and 1813. 12 for authentication, 13 for accounting. Most famous competitors of Radius servers are LDAP, Takats or Kerberos. Their characteristics varies and PIX is dependent on client requirements. Sometimes they are even used in combination with each other. Compared to competitors, Radius encrypts users' credentials in packets, advised to use IPsec tunnels on top when the server is used remotely. Now let's dive in into our lab. We are going to start with downloading this amazing appliance which is available for free, Dalo Radius. If you are building this lab with me, you should have VirtualBox pre-installed and all you need to do is download this OVA file. Once it is downloaded, simply double click on it and it should automatically open in VirtualBox. After quick check of system requirements, just simply click on finish. Because we will be integrating this server into GNS3 lab, open settings and change adapter to not attached and make sure cable connected is checked. Now let's jump to GNS3 and click on edit then preferences. In VirtualBox VMs, simply click on New and in drop-down list you should be able to see Dow Radius Appliance. Now I am going to place Appliance on the board, adjust visuals and connect it to the Gigabit Interface 0-2. Now we are ready to start our freshly added radio server. Once it is booted up, I am going to assign it to VLAN 12 on Cisco switch and then request the ACP address from FortiGate. Since Radius is currently in defaults, we have to set up IP addressing manually. I have decided go for DHCP with intended DHCP reservation, but for this particular appliance it is better to set IP statically. Typically I am using this Kali virtual machine to configure everything, but currently it is in VLAN 10. That means that policy which would allow access to Radius is going to be required on FortiGate. So in next step we are going to do exactly that. In summary, this policy is going to allow traffic from VLAN 10 into our DMZ VLAN and not will be disabled.
In next step I am going to create DHCP reservation so Radio server will always receive same IP address. Once IP of your choice is reserved, simply revoke current lease. And on the radio server, simply request IP address again. At this point we should be able to reach radio server which is in DMZ VLAN on reserved IP address. Now let's start with the platform configuration and you will be asked for few passwords. Because there are a few, I will be highlighting default appliance passwords in video. Very important setting is NAS configuration which is serving like gateway to authenticate users. In other words, FortiGate will be sending requests to Radius as a client. NAS secret is how device itself authenticates towards Radius. That should be enough for NAS configuration. Now we are ready to configure some accounts. I'm just going to create simple username and give it a simple password and that should be enough for testing purposes. Next I want to quickly adjust time on radius and I'm going to do it manually since we have not set up NTP in lab yet. In new tab, type down IP address of the radius and then select web shell. To set up date and time, use following command. Alright, that will do with the time. Now let's open under tab and type in IP address of the radio server again. And because this radio server has its own firewall, we need to add rules to allow AAA request, otherwise it would be dropping them. Why? 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 It's ironic. We can do so via web admin. Once logged in, click on the networking, then Linux firewall. Here you can also reset firewall and allow everything. I have decided to add rules for UDP port 1812 and 13.
that should be enough to allow traffic what we need, next apply changes and then restart appliance. Last but not least, let's add finishing touch on FortiGate and configure Radius server there. NAS IP should match as we have configured on Radius server. On primary server IP type in Radius IP address. Secret should be also same as we have configured on Radius server. And voila, connection status is successful. To confirm everything is working as it should, let's test the user which we have created on Radius server. And that was successful as well, now let's take a look on a practical example how to use Radius for authentication. In one of our previous videos I have demonstrated SSL VPN configuration, feel free to check it out via link in the corner. And this will also serve as a good example. I am going to configure a new user group, but this time group will be authenticated not locally, but via Radius. Now let's return back to VPN subsection and check the configuration quickly. I will be creating web access for configured Radius user and there is nothing to change here so let's take a look on SSL VPN settings. And here we have to add authentication portal mapping, then select group which we have created and this group will have web access. Firewall policy in this case also have to be modified. Add Radius group, then click OK. We will be accessing SSL VPN web portal from outside on this router, on interface gigabit 2 /0, on IP address which is currently assigned. If this is somewhat confusing, please check our SSL VPN configuration video for better understanding. On interface 2 /0, this is current IP address with port forwarding configured 2 10 443. And now moment of truth, test with the user which we have created on Radius. That is a success and with that I am going to say goodbye and see you next time. Do you want to hear a joke about Radius server? Why don't Radius servers play hide-and-seek with LDAP servers? Because they always get caught during authentication. <laughs> Do you want to hear another joke? No. Why did the Radius server sign up for speed dating? It's all about quick authentications, unlike LDAP, which takes forever to browse profiles.
make the right choice. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.